Hey, what's up, y'all, man? It's your boy, David Lucas. I'm right back at you, dog. And uh, have y'all been watching the Met Gala? Uh, some of them outfits are uh, unexplainable, inexcusable. I'm going to scroll through some of my favorites so y'all can see this. <laughs> I mean, look at look at Russell Westbrook, dog. He looked like he about to be front row at a Marilyn Manson concert. That's uh, Abraham Westbrook, Honest Abe. Boy, you look like the Declaration of Independence. What is going on with that outfit, bro? You look like you got beat up at a Spencer's. <laughs> what is this, bro? Like, you look like you do magic. You look like you're stirring up. You look like you're about to stir up a potion in one of them big old bowls with a boat paddle. Like, I don't know what you're doing, dog. Like, you look like you betrayed Harry Potter. <laughs> You know who you actually are? You sell weed at Hogwarts. <laughs> the drug man at Hogwarts. That's what you look like right now. Like, hey, man, I got this flying dragon weed. Now, it's going to be 28 silver beetles for one of these. All right? You sell bootleg broomsticks. <laughs> All right, let's see who else we got. Janik, Janik Z Bravo. Uh... Is that a hat or your hair? Like, I don't know. Let's see the whole, let's see the whole outfit. Look at them shoes. Look at those shoes, bro. You look, you look like the captain of a slave ship that's bringing transgender slaves to America. Like, what do you look like? <laughs> Woo, you can't find that in fashion over. That is one ugly outfit. Like, who dresses you? Y'all pay thousands of dollars to wear these outfits, and then they look like crap. They look like some bullshit. So we have Autumn the Wild. Uh, look at this outfit she has on. She look like she looks like Willy Wonka's wife. That's exactly who she looks like. What's behind that door, Mr. Wonka? Oh my God, Violet, you're turning Violet. <laughs> Cause I got a golden ticket. If they cast it. Willy Wonka in 2022 with all the pronouns and stuff. This is exactly what he looked like. Gender neutral. Uh, I accept everybody as they are. This is exactly how Willy Wonka would look in this whole 2022 debacle. All right. So uh, we have Ashton Sanders, who appears to have a Twilight themed outfit. He looks like a colonial vampire. Uh, I don't know what look he was going for, but it looks like he was for the North. He's in blue and gold, and he was fighting for our freedom. He looked like he's about to go fight for the freedom of all the slaves back in the day during the Civil War, and he looks like he has nine lives. So he can spare eight lives on the field, and when he gets shot eight times, he's like, all right, man, I got to take a break. Even Mock. No, uh, Evan Mock. Uh, I don't know what we have going on here. We have a California surfer slash skater meets interior designer. Uh, you know, like sometimes those worlds just cross. Like sometimes you want to just build a skate park with some nice decor. You know what I'm saying? Like a lambskin landing rug when you're turning a kickflip. Or maybe some flower wallpaper in a skate park. Who knows? This guy looked like he will make you the nicest skate park in the world. Jordan Roth. I don't even know what I'm looking at. I, I don't know what your pronoun is, so I'm gonna say a they. Uh, you, you look like a gay uh, Star Wars character. That's the best description that I could give you. You look robotic as hell uh, with that black on, and then, yeah, there's a lot going on there, bro. Uh, sir, ma'am, I'm not sure which one it is. But yeah, whatever you are, there's a lot going on there, and uh, I think Darth Vader wants part of his outfit back. It's kind of disrespectful for you to disassemble Darth Vader and then turn him into a Met Gala outfit, don't you think? Venus Williams, she came to the Met Gala dressed like the female Blade. Uh, you about to go fight some Daywalkers or what? And then, of course, we got Anderson Pack. Uh, he looks like uh, Anderson Pack looks like Ike Turner with the 1980s tablecloth on. <laughs> You know what he actually looks like? He looks like that episode when, uh, from the Fresh Prince of Bel Air, when Will Smith went to the private school and started wearing his jacket inside out because he wanted to be different from everybody else. That's what he actually looks like. <laughs> Jeez Louise, I don't know what's going on here, bruh. Uh, you look like Edward Scissorhands. Edward Scissorhands on ice. Actually, Freddy Krueger. That's a very, I think, Freddy Krueger designed your outfit. 
Uh, I think it was the, you know, buy curious Freddy Krueger. It's like, let's give it a little dazzle. Like, I'll still hunt you in your nightmares, but still, though, we're going to be killer. <laughs> Gigi Hadid. Uh, Gigi said, I'm going to come to the Met Gala dressed exactly like the stairs. No, I don't want to be bothered. I want to camouflage. I want to walk in and people start walking on me because they think I'm the stairs. So she, whatever carpet they made the Met Gala stairs out of, she just said, give me the extras. I'll make a jacket out of it. F it. So we have Skeet Davidson and Kim Kardashian. Kim Kardashian, uh, I guess she's so famous. She got to borrow Marilyn Monroe's dress from a museum, the dress that she sung Mr. President in. And uh, I guess she had to lose a lot of weight because she looks sick. Uh, she looks like Pete Davidson has been drinking all her blood. So Kanye, you should be worried. And, and, and Skeet is just there looking like a drunk stepdaddy at a kid's recital. I don't really know what they, he don't even really know what's going on. He don't know why he's there. He's just wondering if there's an open bar. It's like, no, Skeet, it's a recital for an eight year old. Of course, there's not gonna be drinks there. So they don't really know what's going on. He said, F it, I'll go. Uh, Kim Kardashian, you look sick. <clears throat> her neck is very thin, bro. Her, her, her neck is starting to look like a selfie stick. Like that's when you know people are getting sick. Kim, you need to get back with Kanye and start eating good. Cause I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on. Uh, who do y'all think actually had the worst outfit? I think Russell Westbrook took the cake. I don't know. Y'all let me know. And also, man, don't forget to go to the Patreon. Patreon.com slash David Lucas. Check your boy out there, man. We got some exclusive stuff for y'all. And we still gonna be releasing we still gonna be releasing the other uh, All right, man, y'all let me know. And also don't forget to check the Patreon out, patreon.com slash David Lucas. Yeah boy, David Lucas. Oh, uh, we got some exclusive stuff on there. And also we're about to start filming some stuff that we can only put on Patreon. Uh we might drop something for my Patreon people this week, actually. I think you'll enjoy it. I don't know. Y'all check it out, man. It's only five dollars. I just started five dollars so y'all get the most out of it. You know what I'm saying? I do have the N-word pass on there, whatever, whatever, you know, if you want to get it, uh, you know. All right, but you know, holla at your boy.